Now I had to figure out how was I going to promote this thing nationally. I needed a spokesman. Somebody who was a known personality to which I could attach this unknown product. Because nobody ever heard of it. I gave it the stupid name, Mr. Coffee, which later became a household word. We used to get returns from other coffee maker companies. They said, we're returning our Norelco Mr. Coffee, you know, for repair. Well, then I thought, who? i got to have somebody that's perfect for this product, okay, to which I could attach oh, my product to him. And I thought of Joe DiMaggio, so you're too young. But Joe DiMaggio was a great baseball hero. I know who Joe DiMaggio yeah. is. I got him. Somebody gave me his unlisted number in San Francisco. I'm from Cleveland. Yeah. On a Saturday morning. I rang him up, a cold turkey, just rang him up. He answered the phone, I said, hi, Mrs. DiMaggio, my name is Mr. Murata, I'm the head of a company that makes coffee, making Mr. Coffee. I wondered whether you might be interested in being a spokesman for my product on television. He said, what's the name of that product? I said, you haven't heard of it, because it's only been on the market for two months. He said, I have so heard of it. Uh -huh. He said, yeah, I was playing in a golf tournament last week in Miami, and I won one as a prize. I brought it home. My sister, Marie, is making coffee in the kitchen right now with it. I said, well, that's it, Mr. DeMaggio. That's what I want you to be a spokesman. Oh, well, he said, I don't think so. I don't do that kind of work. I said, it's not work. The advertising people will just run you right through all the steps. It's very easy. He said, well, uh, okay, one second. And so you know, he, I said, uh, uh, you know, you know, well, he said, I don't, I don't think so. Thank you. Anyway, that was it. Cut me. This was Saturday. The next day, I took my wife, Ann, and we flew to San Francisco. I really had no incentive, no, no inducement to go to San Francisco, other than I just wanted to go. Something inside drove me to go to San Francisco, where Joe DiMaggio lived. Got there on Sunday. Didn't call him on Sunday. Monday morning, I rang him up. Hello. So he answered the phone like he's talking to Palermo or somewhere. So I said, oh, Vince, he said, oh, hi, Vince. How's the weather there? I said, well, <laughs> I'm at the Fairmount Hotel here in San Francisco. He said, oh, my God, you move fast. I said, how about a little lunch? You want to break bread? you got to have lunch, don't you? you don't, you're not going to be obligated. You're not going to force you into anything. You don't like it. That's it. Well, he mumbled for a little while. Then he finally said, okay, I'll come, which was a great triumph for me when he said that because I had no real reason to think he would do that. Right. Trav Okage came in, I introduced him to my wife. We sat down, had lunch. She left. I asked her if she could go, you know, go shopping. <laughs> uh, and when I, and I, I, during lunch when he was eating his salmon, I was spelling out the grand and glorious plans I had for Mr. Coffee. Not that I already had him, I was going to have. When I got all finished, he put his hand out. He said, I believe you. He says, I'm going to go with you. I said, no, wait a minute, Mr. Maggio. You know, I'm not General Motors or anybody big company. I can't pay a lot of money. This is a startup company. He says, I know. He says, whatever you want to pay me. I gave him a real low figure compared to what he made later with me. Because he was with me for 15 years as a spokesman. He was making middle six figures yeah. later. He said, so he said, okay. He says, whatever you want to pay me. And that was it. I got Joe DiMaggio. He became my spokesman. I stayed there for five days, playing golf every day with him on a different golf course. And that was him. Well, he was with me for the rest of the time as the spokesman of Mr. Coffee. Yeah. And the rest is, you know, he became number one selling coffee maker in the, the world within three years. That was Vince Murata on his Mount Union College career. I'm Megan Smuckler with WRMU Special Report.